Vandana, can you hear? Can you hear us? Yeah, hi. I can hear you. Hi, Vandana. Hi, ba hi, hi Vandana. Hi. Thank you for being here. No, thank you. Thank you so much. Vandana, I share your question with Smriti. Yeah. So uh, my question is that uh, what what exactly is our belief system when we uh, you know have uh, major illnesses like cancer or you know like you you've beaten it so many times so obviously it is a certain uh, thought thought process that probably bil, uh, brings these illnesses into our bodies okay so, so before like i sure before i go there i'd like to uh, reflect on a word that you used beaten i didn't beat cancer cancer was not a bad thing to be beaten right so that just that approach or that perspective helped me able, help me change it because if you've already decided that it's a bad thing and you have to beat the shit out of it or you have to fight it then mm. what you fight or what you have decided is bad will stay as that okay 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 so so now here's an example if i may use this vandana this is how we casually use words yeah yeah without thinking and we just create something or we uh, solidify something in our life right okay right. it's a very casual statement and even i would say say it like this come on you've got to beat this you've got to fight this come on we will you know no yeah i didn't realize i had used the word when i spoke to you just right <laughs> right so if to begin with cancer is something that is uh, that has to be beaten and it's like so bad then it will only be bad 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 so uh, cancer uh, or any terminal disease for that matter uh -huh. what i learned as part of my access consciousness work is that uh, terminal diseases are something that we create when we are dying to get out of something so you've got to start looking at an area of your life or some areas of your life which you don't really like or you don't like what's going on and uh, so you're trying to escape it because maybe you don't know how to deal with it maybe you've given up on it uh maybe you have no clue how to change it so it's just best to get out so now how do you get out committing suicide is not a very respectable way of dying and there's also a whole lot of other you know points of views attached to it so a very respectable way to get out is through illness where people will care for you they will uh, you know it's a good way to get out it's an easy way to get out of life and cancer is also very often a reflection of uh, and i'm not saying that this has to be the case for everybody but this is what it is by and large with all the people i work with like i have created a platform called i to we uh, which is illness to wellness because in illness there is i l l n e s s and in wellness there is w e and l l n e s s and i believe that i when i uh, get supported by by everybody a community and when it becomes a we uh, illness turns to wellness illness is very often a shout out or a wake up call uh, for love care nurturing attention um, you know or it's a wake up call to uh, showing you that you are not aligned uh, with why you came to this planet um our body is like a gps okay so as long as we are aligned with what we came here for which is to grow to thrive to have fun to live with ease uh we are fine but when we are not aligned with all of that and we start operating from uh negative thinking hurt victimhood anger blame games etc uh it creates an imbalance of energy flow in the body and you start going off track so illness is always a uh, gps going beep 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 you've gone off track so you need to come back and align with what you came here for and you came here to thrive sweetheart so is this something that's going on with you or with somebody no, you no. know no no this was a question that came in my mind uh, hearing your story generally Yeah, so it's, so so this is the questions we will ask is there something in your life that you want to move out from is there something uh, that you don't like about your life are you having fun do you love your life are you 
Because very often people will say, no, I don't want to die. I want to live. That's what even I said. Okay. Why would I want to die? Mm. But there has to be something going on that is creating the death. It's just that you've not acknowledged it. Mm. So deep down, when I worked with myself, uh, I was doing a session with somebody. Like I was the client and the person was doing a session. And in that session, that memory of a 14-year-old when I tried to kill myself came up. And I thought I had worked on it through all this work that I had done over these last you know, few years. But apparently, I had buried the rage and I yeah. still felt the rage and I still felt unworthy of living. And so in hindsight, I saw that I had been creating a lot of situations in my life where I was, people were being mean and abusive because I felt I deserved to be treated badly because I was not good enough. And so right. that was my final crucial moment where I had to uh, let go of that victimhood that blame game, that rage. And it was only after that, that my body had the chance to start changing. So it deteriorated first. I didn't know whether I'll survive, but at least I had gained my freedom from that rage. And finally, I was not a victim any longer. And so there's a law on this planet called law of vacuum. So when you create a vacuum, only then can something wonderful replace it. So when I created a vacuum by letting go of that rage and that judgment and that victimhood, something beautiful could show up in its place. So anytime you want something new to show up, you have to release something. It's not releasing something is what's keeping that illness or that financial problem or that relationship issue in place. So if you follow the law of vacuum, you can change it. Got it. Thank, Thank you so course. much. Thank you. So with breast Thanks cancer you. cases, you will often see that those women feel, uh, feel that they were not loved or they were not nurtured or they were just taken for granted. Very often you will see this. If you, if, when I have women who come with uh, uterus related issues, the first question I ask, and they get like psyched, uh, how, how did you know? By and large, it's a relationship with a partner that you need to look at or something to do with uh, the way your pregnancy went or something that happened related to, you know, your womanhood uh, or lack of nurturing caring that has created that issue. Thank you so much. Thank You're you. You're so welcome, Vandana. Thank you. Thanks, Vandana.